uh, data summarization and visualization tool. And you might have heard of this. It's called Pivot Table. Mm -hmm. How many of you use it all the time? Who, who hasn't used it ever? All right. The coolest thing, I'm just opening, telling you, giving you the name. You never knew this, right? This drink existed. Once you have it, it's the best thing in the world. <laughs> and for the next 10 years, you're, that's the only drink you want ever, right? It's something like that. This is something you need to play with. And this will give you, if you do any data work, this is the savior and this is the, the, the drug of choice for a lot of things, all right? All you do, you want to summarize this. All right, this is the, and I don't know what the data is. I'm just, I just, I'm learning like you're learning. It gives you data of sales transactions, what you see. And I'll give you a little background on this. It is a, a data for a bookstore. So the bookstore is an online or, yes, online bookstore, all right? You get for each order that it, that is placed, you get where it's coming from, the region, the payment type, how it was paid for, it was paid with PayPal or credit card. This is online, so there's gonna be cash. Uh, there is a transaction code. How was how was the order placed? Whether, whether it was through the website or did you get an email? The value of the order, what was the item that is bought, which is could be DVD or books, and Finally, the time of day when this was bought. All right, and you are you are trying to figure out which region is is giving you more sales. Maybe you need to market your or in your website more in that region. That might be the reason why you're looking at this data. It might be how many uh, you might want to see how many of your customers are are actually buying with PayPal versus credit card. Maybe if you can move them to PayPal, it's cheaper for you. All right, so uh, maybe you can create an incentive. How many is uh, from website? All right. First thing, even before the pivot table, let me show you a, a quick and dirty way of looking at certain things. If I select the name of the variables and go to this on your home tab, there is this filter button A to Z. If you look <coughs> at that filter, you can do a lot of quick things with it. How many regions are there? I just clicked on that filter, that downward arrow, and it shows me I might have hundreds of cells of data, but it tells you how many categories there are. All right? Um, if I'm interested, is there any other third payment method than credit or PayPal? No. Is there any other source than email and web? No, there isn't. Is there anything sold between book and DVD? No. So you get to see that, and it also gives you uh, ways to sort them, you can sort it, and the entire data is sorted, you can filter, and if you color code something, you can also sort by color, and you can do a lot of things with that filter thing. That's another nice tool to, to know. All right. The amount, if I want to just know the, the largest, smallest, and the average, I'll, I just did a control shift select, and it, it shows at the bottom here, the average of the purchases is 39.95. There are 472 online items, that is purchases, and then the total sum of value that I, I sold was 18,854. All right, cool, right? I didn't do anything, I just selected that, that, that column and I got all this information. All right, now the cool part. Go to insert. And before I do any of this, let me delete all these other sheets. Fantastic. Now that I have this, I go to pivot table and say insert. What is my data? By default, it selects all the data. You might not want to do that, but here I want to do that. So I've selected the range, which is from A3. That's where it starts and goes to. I told you there were 472 data lines. So it starts from 3 to 475. So it has selected everything. Where do I want the pivot table to be? I could make it here, or I could go to the next worksheet. You could click here and say existing worksheet and click somewhere, it'll ask for a place. Existing worksheet, where? Over here. No, a new sheet is better for me, I like that. All right, 
I hit OK. It gives you a blank table. And you can play with it the way you want it. What can you do? You can change what you have. You can change, do you want sum of values or do you want something else? You can change that. For now, I'll just take sum of values. Um, you can change everything from here Anyway, so uh, let me select some of the variables. I want the region, and I want the source, and I want the amount to be created. All right? I said there are four regions. You have east here, you have north, south, and west. You have the total values of the 18,854. You know east created 4170 worth of sales for you. Of that, which is the dominant sales point? It is the web. You can do that. All right? Similarly, you can do look at north, which has the most sales. Well, the west has the most sales. And there, email is, is not as small as the others. Email is, is actually 50% of, of the total sales. So it's, a, it's more important there. All right. What else can you do? I can change. Instead of having regions in columns, I can say, well, or maybe put sources in columns. And it gives you a table with the totals. It's just the totals now. Um, and you have the, of the total, east is 4170, of which 1056 is, is email, 3113 is, um, is web. All right? And you can add. You can just click it, and you can add other variables, too. You can say, well, what is the payment type for East? I want to know that. So in East, off the web and email, or, or if you don't want them separately, you can put them all three together, and, all, and remove this for that matter. Let me just remove. Um, 